they have a fascinating discussion. And as they reach Emmaus and it's getting toward evening, Jesus is acting like he's going to just keep on going. But they, they ask him, won't you please stay with us? Talk with us some more. It's so good to talk to you. And so Jesus enters the, the inn with them and they sit down and they talk a little bit more and then the bread is brought to them and their meal comes. It's always a special time when the bread comes. <laughs> and Jesus takes the bread. And that isn't it interesting, it's a thing. He breaks it, he blesses it, and he gives it to them. And then it says, and then their eyes were open, and they knew who he was in the breaking of the bread. That, that phrase, the breaking of the bread in the Bible, whenever we read it, we think, Jesus, no matter what's going on, when you take the bread and break it, even later on in the book of Acts, Paul is with people, and they're in the ship, and they're going to be shipwrecked, and he, he takes bread and he breaks it. He blesses it, and you think that's just what Jesus did. And that's who Jesus was. His body broken for us and gives us strength and life eternal. But it was in the breaking of the bread that they knew him. Whether that motion they had seen before, whether when he broke the bread, right, maybe for the first time they looked at his hands, what would have been in his hands? All of a sudden, they realized it was him. And at that moment, it says, he vanishes. <coughs> goes on and he goes to somebody else. Goes and he meets with Peter and, and the disciples. But these guys are so excited. They were ready to go to bed before, but now they're up. They say, we are so excited. we got to go back to Jerusalem. And tell Peter and the others what's happened. And so... The, the weariness and the dreariness of their trip has been transformed. Now they got some gas. They're ready to go, boy. And they run back to Jerusalem. And they get back there and say, we've seen the Lord. And the disciples say, so have we. So have we. He's been here. And, and the guys on the road say, we knew him. And the breaking and isn't that how we know him a lot too? Isn't communion so special when we break the bread, we think of him? What a wonderful time that must have been walking with Jesus. Having him open their eyes to the scriptures. Wow. It's powerful. There's a story of a lady who came to a, a church for the first time. And she came in and the people greeted her and and they said, hello, how are you today? And she says, my life's a mess. It's just a mess. And they go, oh, my, well, won't you come in and sit down and maybe you'll get some strength and help. She says, well, my life's just a mess. <laughs> they got together at the church and they said, we've got to help this lady. Her life's a mess. What, well, what can we do for her? And they talked to the pastor and they said, Let's all go visit this lady. So they got the men's group together and the couple ladies and the pastor and they went and they took groceries and who knows what, some financial help. And uh, they came in and they said, we're here, you know, we understand you're going through some hard times. She said, no, I'm not. Why would you think that? And they said, well, you said your life was just a mess. And she said, not a mess, a maze. A maze. My life is a maze. My life is a joy. My life is about walking with Jesus. My life is about sharing everything with my best friend. They just never heard that before, and they never heard it in a brawl either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if your life and my life could be a maze. And to know that wherever we go, wherever we are, Jesus is right there. And that we can share everything. There are probably things you cannot share with anybody else. 
maybe you have a best friend you can share the deepest, darkest things with. And maybe, maybe in your heart of hearts you say, oh, I'd never share those things with Jesus. Oh my, guess what you already know. <laughs> if you've done the worst things in the whole world, and he still loves you. He still loves you. He just wants you to talk to him about it. And he wants to help. He wants to forgive. He wants you to grow in grace and in joy, hope and love. And if you need to turn your life around, he wants you to do that. But he wants to keep walking with you. Even if you're going the wrong way, he's with you. He's always by your side. The Bible says, wherever I go, whether it's to the highest heavens or the depths of Sheol, the pit, I cannot escape his presence. He's always with me. And thank God for it. May our life be a mess. And may we know in the breaking of the bread, in the fellowship of the church and of the saints, that Jesus is always with us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hey, we did good, Mark. <laughs> <laughs>